Hello, we're all Mondo here, and welcome to my review of Cortus episode 3. What a good episode. This anime is fantastic. Just, you know, become better and better. As I said earlier, um, earlier, I was like, man, this anime is weird because, like, it's like this cliche love triangle, but it just makes it work anyway. <laughs> of course, uh, I was wrong. It's not a love triangle, it's a love square. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's a square, right? So it's that they have the boy, yeah? and also good because. I mean, usually you have, let's say, any number of, you know, love, romance, kind of classic thing, like Nejima, Love Hina, Tenshi Moyu, Nisekoi, uh, Nagasati Aito, even like Green Green, Girls Bravo, <laughs> and so on, right? The, then it's like one guy, right, my main character, and he has like three, two to like 11 girls, right, uh, like Tenshi Moyu, Gifi, and like, Five wives. <laughs> I like did the end that they get uh, spoiled. Not, you see it right. They actually think he has four more. It's, it's really weird. Like he has like five girls such a monkey picks. And then the last episode or last, some of those episodes, this like random crew of pirates something tried to like rob them and then they like they defeat them and then they're like, okay, we have to marry you because you beat us. And suddenly he has like nine wives or something. Or like you know, we are your wives now. And it's like, oh, how did this happen? That's like how it ends up. It's like it's really silly. It's like. I really had four wives. This is really annoying. Like I can't take it anymore. Right there, you should have that. So this anime right away is like, nah, two girlfriends is not enough. We need a third one. And it's like, no. But I want to be unique here, so you also get a boyfriend. I I, I really love that. So like, that to me is so fresh. It's it's so fresh, right? I of course it'd be you know did a couple of other things, uh, and like cross dressing, for example, Marushiki. Even Isiko has it, but I believe it's like a girl dressing as a boy and so on. So I mean, it's not completely gone. And Gender Bend, of course, like Kempfer and so on. Uh, so it's not completely touched there. But I feel it's still good though. I like it because it's still kind of, you know, ordinary. Just one guy, the Bishonen guy that likes him. Of course, a pretty boy likes him. That horse is a little cliche though. He has like the prettiest girl, prettiest boy, and this like perfect graded pretty girl from other school. So he has like the perfect, yeah. That's the cliche though. That, he, that he's like. Relationship is, you know, with the three most Bishonen or Bishoyun and or, yeah, characters, of course. That's a little like, okay, it's an anime, but yeah, <laughs> it's a little ridiculous. Um, but uh, it's super fresh for me, 100% fresh. Um, you know, everything you do is an anime, right? Or in, I guess, the manga. So this anime is over, I have to just read the manga, I suppose. Uh, I'm going to read the manga now because I really, really enjoy this anime. But when the anime is over, I have to go read the manga. I mean, this is really fantastic. Like, everything you do doing so far, like this weird triangle into this weird <laughs> four-way, I guess, something, you know, back and forth. However, though, that being said, I really don't trust him still. And I said it all the time in live, I really don't trust Nisaka, right? It's something weird with him. Not used that he's, like, you know, in the closet, quite literally, like, I guess. And that, that's something that's very interesting. Uh, not something I'm going to rant about too much in this video, like I did last week, but it's very interesting. If you ever have, have to get married, if you're gay, are you screwed then? Or can you, like... Marry, you know, another gay person. Uh, I don't mean like another, you know, sex gay, but I mean like, you know, marry a guy if you're a guy or a girl if you're a girl. And then, you know, you have some deal, so yes, you, your semen can go to a lesbian couple if you're a gay couple. See what I mean? That could work because they do have these like super advanced society of systems, right? I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, you can touch, touch into that. Uh, move to this character later on in the anime, but so far I don't think so because the anime has this like there is this forced marriage thing and his parents and so on they're going with that definitely is a thing in the storyline, but they don't really state the rules of that. And I'm a very much like you know game rules kind of guy, so a little annoying. That's probably actually the biggest issue for me in this anime. Like I, I wish I wish they had like a few chapters in the beginning, just a chapter like a means in anime. Just give me the rules. Like, can you break a couple? Because they do mention that this episode where that's a little confusing to me, to be honest, right? It's like, we're not married yet. She might hate me. It's like, so can you say no? I mean, I'm assuming that if you you know you meet someone and he or she beats you and like, yeah, that crap. Like, obviously, you're probably going to say, no, this guy is crazy. Yes, they have perfect genes together, but like, this guy is like, no, no. And then that person would be, you know, like, blacklisted probably from getting married to anyone. So you're probably like screwed because everyone is pairing up, right? So you probably get alone for life. So probably very few to do it. But still, I, I have to assume that is how it works. And that makes complete sense. But how is it if you're gay then? Can you say, no, I can't. Or do you just have to marry a woman anyway? And you, just, you know, you know, get kids because you have to by the law. 
I don't know. Like I wish we knew more about that um, before this actually. But hopefully we're into that. But I don't think actually we did too much because it feels like they're kind of you know purposely avoided talking about like all the different rules and. But it makes it a little confusing at least though. But he's mentioning that that he's, he's like, she might turn me down, but we don't know how she can do it. That's that is probably for me the only minus this episode. Well, because the same last week and this week as well, right? Where he's talking he's talking about to him to Nisika and it's like well, she might you know and. It, it, it doesn't make no sense to me. Like, I don't know how it works. Like, yeah, like that, that's confusing. That's probably my only negative in this episode. That being said, though, I think it's just, just a great character. Really, Sean. Uh, I mean, I love the whole thing. It's like, oh, I want to see love. It's like, kiss each other. <laughs> that, that's weird. She's the after rare. I mean, it makes it so... I guess she reminds me of Marilyn in uh, Monster Muslim. Yeah, <laughs> natural rare mermaid. It's like, that's interesting. A lot that's very interesting. We have a love triangle had at least during that time and she's like i want this live triangle to be you two guys they're like really yeah i like you you're my best friend you're not my best friend but you're my husband so you know do my girl best friend here yay <laughs> it's like it's, it's, it's weird but it really works it's super hilarious it's super cringe weird though but it's really funny right it's really funny and i've said that and i felt that like really in my heart for watching that man this anime is great because it's only been 10 minutes so far it feels like i watched a full episode because I feel, feel like I'm almost exhausted, I'm happy, but like, wow, this is so much interaction, so much, you know, dialogue, so much funny, weird shit. So I'm like, wow, it's only been half the episode, like half the episode about when they were in her room, right? The, the, the weird triangle thing. Like, that felt like a full episode to me, to be honest, compared to my, my many old animes, right? Or in this kind of, it's been this genre, where the is gone and on, this could, could be like 10 chapters, right? Like, but no, not really, but it fits that. So that thing was really amazing, actually. I was like, yeah, this is a lot of happening here. Great drama, really good drama. Um, but one thing though that I have to say, that, man, it reminded me of Friends. You know, the classic, one of the classic, I think it's season one. Might be wrong, I think it's season one, actually. Definitely early seasons. When Ross is talking to Joey about having like a tree some with his wife, uh, and he, her new, her then her girlfriend, but later wife, right, Carol. So it's Carol, and I can't remember her name, her wife, Tron, but they, you know, they get married, and they have Ben, and so on, right? Or maybe it's together, but anyway, yeah. That thing, and, then, and he talks about that with, with Joey, and he's like, Joey's like, was it really good? He's like, mm, yeah, it was amazing, two ladies, right? He's like, yeah, it wasn't good, wasn't it? No, it was kind of boring. <laughs> it was kind of boring, actually. And he talks about it's like, yeah, they were sitting there doing the stuff, and I was like, watching. Then I watched for like five minutes, and I got bored and took a sandwich. You know, I had this like long scene about talking about that, and Joey's like, yeah, man, it's not that fun. <laughs> and I just love that thing, because it really felt like that, but he's sitting there like, why am I here? So because first he gets into it, right? It's like, this is super awkward. There's gonna be in this room here with his future wife and her best friend, I suppose, the girl that likes him and he likes her. And his wife is like, yeah, you should have sex with me. Kind of weird, right? And you feel like this is gonna get really crazy, weird teenage drama thing. And he's like, this is a weird anime. That's how you feel it. That comes later, of course. But before it happens, I just love that joke when he's sitting there. You see the timer goes and like, oh, like five hours later, it's like, why is something happening? <laughs> yeah, and he's like, I thought it was gonna be a tree somehow, or at least some kind of weird. She's watching us doing something, and they're just talking about like clothes and you know fashion. That's it in the background, like, damn it, <laughs> like damn it, <laughs> really didn't work out the last plan, <laughs> you know. I really, I really love. That's the best for me at least. It felt, maybe because I love friends, but it felt so worried to friends there. It was like, okay, three times is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. And then, of course, he's then again the Queen's thing. Uh, I wish that we had her mother, because I like her mother's character. I wish I had her mother, like, on the outside, looking, eavesdropping and be like, huh? Why is my daughter trying to do a tree sub or something? <laughs> I wish we had that. And her mom is like, weird, but I'm okay with it. I need to get grandkids. So, <laughs> like, that would be nice if she was like, Hey, okay for me. That, 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 I missed that. That could have been something. Otherwise, I mean, I love the parents because they definitely have this kind of the forced, the forced marriage thing. Is different there, right? So we have the parents, and they're like, "Oh, come in here, yeah, great, great son. You, you gonna get me grandkids soon? Yes, come in here." And the mom was like, "Don't interrupt us, mom, in my room." It's like, "Oh, I would never dare. You go in there, kids." <laughs> like, I love that. It's like, "Oh, I'm not gonna interrupt you, younglings." They're like, no, no. Right, you really get the kind of weird feeling. I think it's really funny because, like normally, maybe your mom would be, you know, yay, my daughter got a boyfriend. Um, but usually, they will lead into the classic thing, like, 
they are gonna eavesdrop or maybe like hear some cookies or just to see you know what's happening because it's kind of cute and funny or they're gonna be super like oh I have to stop this my daughter is 16 I am not gonna let her you know get pregnant now I'm gonna like disturb them interrupt their behavior you know I'm gonna do that shit right so you have that kind of that kind of feel to it like that's usually how it is right in this kind of anime and generally in TV shows and so on, in books, of course that's kind of natural, right? Uh, but in this world, then mother's like, yay! It's <laughs> like, get in there, kids! I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna go shopping now. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I'm not gonna be here. You do whatever you want. You're young. Like, I, I just love that. It's like, no, no, no. I'm not gonna stop it. <laughs> Don't worry. I would never attempt to do that. Like, yeah, like this is the reverse of the normal. Like that, I love that. So that's great. Like we saw last week, his thoughts like, get after her, son. You're going out. He's like, Tana, go after her. Like, it's a good situation, son. So I think that's great. It's great. I think that's really great. And I mean, that joke in this episode was much shorter last week's episode, right? But I think it's a great way to really utilize this. Like, okay, we have the world. This is our world, pretty much. Pretty much this year, right? Maybe a little the future, I suppose. But generally, kind of this world. But they have this, like, okay, we have this cultural norm swap right and then what would that entail title like so that's good um but that's the then but i mentioned one thing again there obviously we had a kiss between him and so on but i actually didn't feel the kiss mattered so much to be honest to me honestly not, not obviously the yaoi kiss in the late in the end there but and that that's a just a great big thing as i thought earlier that is huge of course she has, has a you know two girls and a boy it's a bit different uh, and so on but to me the more important thing is that he saw them kissing Maybe and yeah, and so on. But generally, I feel that there's something going on. And I have, I have this prediction theory that I said during all of it as well that I think that they are getting married. That's what I, that's what I'm throwing out there. I think that uh, uh, Nisaka and uh, the seven Takasaki uh, that they are uh, engaged, right? That's my prediction. So on, you know, don't comment, <laughs> don't spoil for me if you comment this, but I, I think that's my prediction, and we probably if we read the manga, see if I'm right or wrong, uh, but I hope we, we know in the anime, probably pretty soon, if it's like, if it's like they're gonna get married, and because they definitely have something going on, they for sure have something going on those two, right? And, like, if he's gay, which he seems to be, right? Yeah, he's like, yeah, we, boy, boy, you love you, um, which should be fine, of course. I think it makes the anime really interesting, I think it's really good, actually, as I mentioned earlier. I think it's really really cool. Uh, but if that if that's the case, he might say, you know, to his you know wife, you, you can do whatever you want. Like, yeah, you can go and do some boys, like I'm not gonna, you know, screw you. He might even see it as an advantage, right? Because if he has to marry her, I don't know the rules to have that's my only concern is anime so far. Like we don't know the rules at all for the marriage thing. But if he has to marry her anyway, I'm going to the law, and the law is like you have to pregnant her. It's like, yeah, but I can't, you know, I don't wanna do it with her. <laughs> yeah, I have no interest in it uh, at all. I can't really, you know, um, you know, letting him, letting her cheat on him, so to speak, but he doesn't really actually care, right? Uh, might be a way to solve it, right? He's like, you know, go and get, you know, do some other guy and you get pregnant. And then the law is like, okay, you, 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 then I can do whatever I want. So like, yeah, that could be his intention. Like, for seriously, yes, the tricky, tricky character. So that could be his intention. I think that makes sense, to be honest, if, if the law said that. But generally, it's like they feel that they are getting engaged. Uh, that's my that's my prediction. Uh, would make sense to me. They kind of they were similar. But the, the, he's like, oh, they're a pretty Bichon and Bichon couple. Yes, that's kind of funny. But they haven't told anyone because he's she is like, you know, she loves this guy and he's like, I don't care. So you can do whatever you want. And you know, yada yada. So they kind of keep it on the down low. And I think that could make a lot of sense. Um, and then. Well, I don't know really how it's going to solve it later on, but yeah, that, that, that to me is my first my prediction when, I, when no, no one I know that, especially, I was thinking that even before he was, uh, he showed that he was, uh, that he was gay, I was thinking that before, even, even before I knew he was gay, that they might be engaged, but he's like this, like, you know, Casanova guy, he seems to be, oh, Elgar's like, oh yeah, all girls want him and so on, so like, he probably is like, nope, you, you, you can, he's like, who boy do you want? Oh, I want this boy, and she's like, and he's like, okay, you can have that boy. As long as I can get any girl I want. She's like, okay, fine. So then they keep being engaged in secret, right? And he's like going around screwing all the girls at school because he's super hot. That that could be in the order, you know, like that. That's how, that's how it looked presented for the first half of the episode, right? Like he was like doing other girls and for whatever reason. And then it would make sense that he actually married to her and they're both like doing whatever they want, right? But now when he's gay, I was it even makes more sense that he's like, 
Okay, you have to get pregnant, so just go and do what someone has. Like, go and do what someone has. Of course, you do like the same person, so of course it gets super com complicated. That they have a triangle when they would because I think I think so, and it makes sense to me then that they're gonna get engaged and they're in love. Both of them are in love with the same guy, right? <laughs> that's that's really that's really something fresh. So this is like hundred percent frustrating, man. That's that's really good. However, though, I think he's something up with him anyway, right? More than you said, maybe he had the phone, something like that. I mean, he did kiss him when they were sleeping, so that's kind of, you know, you know, a little, eh, not really okay, right? So, yeah, so obviously he has something going on with him. And she was calling him a hentai twice there. I was like, yeah, this guy's a hentai. It's something weird with him. Not that he's gay, but it's like, you know, there was a, you know, he's, he's apparently he's, you know, gay, but he's definitely hiding something else. You know, he's planning something. So weird again, uh, not to try to get all the gay, but I mean, it's something going on with him, right? So, anyway, I think it's an amazing anime. It's just really fun. There's so much stuff is happening to it. It's funny, but the drama is really deep. And I say again, it's really unique, right? They have this weird setting, just this love square, sort of a triangle, and it's like, man, they have this like, normal guy, the normal guy, but like, you know, also kind of weird, you know, gender bender, cross dressing. That, that is kind of common, right? Not super common, but. You know, several animes, the manga and so on, but they have like, usually then a girl that does, that's like a boy, right? Or again, the band and so on, but sometimes otherwise, but just something like that, well, that to love really has to have a, you know, transformation. Uh, Yisun and Watashi, we also have, you know, uh, the, the, I, love the, I, lo I love her though, Shiro, which is like a wolf, so when she gets moonlighted, she becomes a male wolf, right? <laughs> She's a female, otherwise, yes, they, and so on, right? So that, that, that's, we have that, we have the gender bender, we have the cross-dressing, we have the traps, and so on, right? But this is, a, just, this is just a straight, right? this is like a normal guy, and he's gay, right? And I, and I liked it a lot, this is like down-to-earth, you know, love for some kind of weird thing, because they're two girls, so they're the same guy, yeah, weird. But anyway, great episode, I can't look forward to see more of the anime, and I'll see you guys next week.